Hi, I'm Greg Yeoman. And I'm Mike Hanna. We're the inventors of the original Enviropod. And today we're going to talk you through the original Enviropod from 1996 and all the changes that we've made and developed to the new version that we've got here. This is the original Enviropod invented by us. There's a few copies or imitations of this device in Australia. Don't be confused with them. They do not have the same performance as the original or the new and improved. Also to clarify, Enviropod's part of the Stormwater 360 group of companies. The Enviropod now is solely available through Rees Plumbing and Rees Civil. First we'll just talk about the key design features of the original Enviropod. It was developed to be a low cost and affordable solution to remove pollutants from stormwater. We saw the opportunity in the gully pit to provide treatment without construction. The key features really was this cage which allowed us to have a really big bag fabric that we used as a 200 micron fabric but the fabric also had a really large open area so it could convey a large amount of flow and still filter fine particles. The other key thing was the dimensions of the system because that also allowed us to have a really big basket with a big screen area and a large capture volume. Why did we redevelop it? After 20 years of working in the field with gully pit inserts uh, we found that the features worked really well However, there are a lot of areas for improvement. Installation and safety when installing it, making it easier to maintain and to make it more durable in terms of the materials. So I'll open this up now. First of all, the, the packaging, this comes in a box instead of on a pallet with multiple parts and means that it's a lot easier to freight. So the key features and parts of the, the Enviropod, the bracket assembly that anchors into the gully pit wall with concrete anchor bolts and these get drilled into the concrete catch basin wall and screw in. So the old Enviropod had a uh, strut system. These had to be first measured and cut to fit the gully pit and then they needed to be mounted with these four brackets, twice the amount of anchoring. This only needs one clean flat wall to be able to anchor onto and it means that it can also be installed from above the ground so that we don't have health and safety issues of being in a confined space when you climb inside a gully pit. It takes about 300 kgs of load. This is a, a nylon composite. This can um, withstand temperatures of minus 40 degrees to plus 40 degrees um, in, on a sunny Melbourne day. So then inside here, the next component that fits into the, the filter bracket assembly is the filter box and that can be installed and moved so that it can be located underneath the gully pit grate. Add on the, the seals to take up the tolerances against the pit wall. Easily cut using a, a box cutter knife, self-drilling screws, screw through the filter box and the seal into the bracket assembly. The seals were actually a bit of a nightmare in the old design. They had to generally be cut with an angle grinder since the thick plastic was required. Locating the system on the struts meant that these had to be kind of cut perfectly. Lack of flexibility really in them as you can see. Positioning it was always a challenge. Inside the filter box assembly we've got the new basket and the basket is uh, made up with a, a gross pollutant basket includes a, a fiberglass batten to ensure that the, the basket maintains its shape. So it means that you can get a, a nice large volume of storage within it to create the performance, but you don't need the big heavy galvanised framing. We've got away from galvanising, galvanising leaches zinc, which is one of the primary contaminants that we're trying to stop getting into the waterways. So the basket just fits straight inside the assembly and it can either be hand lifted using the lift straps or it can be maintained using a vector truck in the same way the earlier version was. Yeah, we also had to, used to have a lot of problems with the bag getting caught up. You'd often rip it on this cage being galvanised and then made out of mild steel. This has got the 200 micron liner but we can also use a, a 1000 micron liner or no liner and just use it as a gross pollutant basket to capture your plastics and cigarette butts. We've actually managed to get a better flow rate through it because it's got a better open area. And we have a, a new eight year warranty that we provide with the product. So the old Enviropod used to take around 30 minutes to an hour to install in a, in a gully pit, depending on how bad the gully pit was. 
How long does the new one take? Uh, so 15 to 20 minutes. You can use the Enviropod in front of all sorts of stormwater infrastructure, in front of ponds, bioretention, wetlands, even swales. We've got multiple sizes of Enviropods to fit all the main size pits in Australia. It's available right across the country and easier to get wherever you are through the Reese Group network. So we really wanted to make a product that would last longer, be easier to use, because that will give us better outcomes and to protect our waterways for future generations.